beloved welcome back to my channel it's your mist it's your mystic journey divine <laughs> coming to you on this cloudy rainy chilly day in the east coast i don't know what's going on with mother nature but we went from high 80s to low 50s seemingly overnight hearing things y'all <laughs> But I think that's my puppy. Or not. It's been a lot going on in here, y'all. This elevating, this upgrading these downloads. It's like, um, what was that movie called? God, what is that movie called? With all those mystical, magical things. Harry Potter. How could I forget? Bro, I wasn't a true fan, but I know about it. It's like Harry Potter school up in here. Except I'm the only student. I'm taking on the roles of each and every one individually. Building a superhuman. Mm-hmm. Some things that would send chills up the average person's spine. Fear. Disbelief. I'm not I. I was born for this life. Initiated from the womb. Don't need a book to show me or teach me or guide me. I move. They move. Just like that. So giving thanks to the ancestors that are here for this reading. My spirit guides who are always watching and waiting. And wish them would. Send some bullshit my way. I love you. I appreciate you. If you know, you know. So what is it going to be today, today? What is the energy of this reading? How you doing, beloved? I digress. I almost forgot you were there. How you doing, beloved? Are you feeling blessed? Positive? Moody? Anxious? Mmm. Well, we're just going to go right in, huh? First card out is grief. Second card out is pride. Where are we going with this, spirit? I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And I love myself. And I see myself in everyone. Someone is sitting in loss and grief. This loss and grief may be causing some bitterness, vengeful thinking. You may have separated yourself in isolation, secluded from a love, loved ones, family, friends, mates, children. You decide, you discern based on rejection, abandonment. Mistreatment, abuse. You may have had an argument, a fight. And you pulled away self preservation as you should. But maybe Spirit saying it's time to get back. In communication with the ones you love. To drop your pride and ego and realize you too had accountability for the situation. Yeah. Yes, you do. I heard you. Yes, you do. It takes two, baby. One to argue and one to listen. And if you sat in the middle of negativity... 
because you wanted to hear to get triggered. Take accountability for that. For showing up for something that didn't need your presence. And now you have to deal with the consequences of leveling up, being the bigger person. Being the example of what true love, true forgiveness, true ascension looks like. Dropping your pride and not living in your ego. Maybe what they said, they said out of anger, out of jealousy, out of anger, out of, out of anger, out of jealousy, out of envy. Maybe they think more of you than you know. Maybe they saw you leveling up, pulling away. And maybe this triggered their ego. Instead of telling you how they felt, they just raised out in their emotions, caused a battle. Some five of cups energy. Five of wands. Maybe you're sitting in your five of pentacles, or they are. Okay. Coupled with Fear, we got the death card. We've got blame. And our final card, leading to peace. Put five cards, five's the number of change. The sixth card is what it leads to completion of peace was the sixth card. We have grief, pride, fear, death, and blame. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. I set responsibility for my own well-being. I am being, I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy. I say, I say, and I say. Situation happened and it was hurtful, painful, debilitating, destructive, necessary, divinely guided, an intervention. Your spirit guides, your ancestors, deciding. Maybe you couldn't. But something you walked away from or walked away from you doesn't matter who. Ending is still the same. The feeling is still the same. Feeling of loss, abandonment, rejection, grief, sadness. But you took the time to allow it to happen. Maybe you didn't fight it. Well, you fought through it. But then when it came to this ending, this final decision being made, judgment being called, death occurring, closing of a cycle, closing of a chapter, When you allowed it to happen, when you stop fighting, stop asking, stop needing, stop being open to mistreatment, being mishandled, stop being a doormat, stop turning the other cheek. When you allowed this tower moment to happen, 
to burn down to the ground. Something new began. A rebirth. An awakening. A progression. A new start. A fresh new beginning. A fresh new you. This painful experience led to your ascension beginning. Awareness of self, self accountability, self reflection, inner knowing. What was my part in it? What could I have done different? Did I deserve this? Is it meant to be? Is it for me? Is the love here? Do I want to try to mend? Heal? Or do I want to take this new journey alone into the unknown, into the unseen to experience things that I haven't experienced before? See things in a different perspective. Bring a light to a dark situation. A silver lining to the cloud. Seeking that knowledge. As opposed to standing under it and waiting for the rain to come. You're flying, beloved. Like the butterfly, you're emerging from the cocoon. You've transformed into strength, into beauty, into love. You're headed in that direction. Whether you know it or not, whether you're still healing and are still in your feelings and still crying, and it's okay. You've decided where you're going, and that's a new righteous way. You realize that that ending, that loss, that rejection was God's protection. Something you didn't see coming, something that was meant to take you out for real, for good, you moved away from, or it was moved away from you. It hurt at first. Your ego stood up and pride said, fight, scream, yell, curse. Throw, hexes, curses, net. Especially if you're a witch like me. But you knew that using that energy in that way would only bring karma to you. And that wasn't your intention or what you aspired to do. You let your ancestors, you let God, goddess, the natural flow of the elements take over and have their way while you retreated to heal, to mend, to find yourself again, to rebuild this beautiful new you that someone would be blessed to receive, to hold, to love. You took the inner blame the inner shame, the inner guilt of sitting in it too long, giving too much, expecting more, self-acknowledgement and self-awareness that you are responsible for your ass within and your ass without. If you are not walking and living in your heaven or earth, it's because it was a choice to settle, to be too forgiving, too empathetic, too nothing, to go unseen, 
unvalued, unheard. Maybe you were insecure, tired, bruised from the beginning. Wanting to be in a toxic relationship, it was better than being alone. That's not popular. You know that only you can right the wrongs by choosing you, prioritizing you, and forgiving others. You are not them, they are not you. We all have our own journeys in our own time. And even the... My... Someone used to say, I can't even remember who told me, who told me this, that... We all must go through hard times. We almost, we all must be wrong so that we know what's right. We all must go through pain. So remember what the pain told us. It has to hurt. We have to feel it in our bones. To know we don't want to be that. We don't want to accept that. We don't want to live like that. We want to be better. We want to elevate. We want to be rewarded for the right things we do. Giving. Forgiving. Understanding. Listening. Feeling. Deciding. Walking a new path, a new direction. Even at times alone. You have to be okay with being alone and being still. For in due season, all will change. What goes up must come down and vice versa. The wheel is always turning and eventually your number will hit. And you must be ready and be strong to receive. Peace. Peace is the goal. Peace is the answer. Peace is something money cannot replace, complete, achieve. Peace begins within. Then your as within becomes your as without. The fear in being alone, the fear in not knowing, the fear in not controlling, the fear in letting go. Will I ever love again? Will I ever be chosen? Will I ever be valued? Will I ever be worthy? You already are, beloved. You can always reach to be more of that which you already are, but you already are those things. For to want them is to know them. To know them is to have experienced them in the past. There's no such thing as a new idea. I don't care what they tell you. Everything is built off that which came before at this point in life, in the world. No need for new. We can just replace, transmute, transform. But we already embody all that we need to be all that we are. And all that we will become begins within. It begins with inner peace, inner awareness, intuition, discernment, love, forgiveness. It is at the top of that list. Because that's where God is. And God is love. God is the womb of the earth. The earth is a womb. The earth is a womb. We are the seeds within. Male and female. <laughs> when we come together, we create life that exits the womb. Hello? Hello?
hello it's so, up the metaphor is deeper than most understand as the sun shines in thank you spirit take your power back work on your inner strength Work on your healing. Rest and retreat. Take care of yourself holistically. I am a holistic life, a holistic wellness life coach. Healing the mind, body, and soul holistically, organically. Root work, excuse me, herbalist, conjurer, healer. You must detox and cleanse from the old you. The old you that has died, been put to rest, has ended. That chapter is done, or that novel. It may be time to start a brand new novel, a brand new book with clean and fresh pages and write a new story, a new legacy to dream again, bigger. Better in this new skin you're in. Let go of blaming, let go of shaming, let go of judging, let go of a need to guilt someone in something. It is what it is, it was what it was, and now that is no more. Move on. The past can only follow you if you invite it, if you carry it. In reality, it doesn't live. Yesterday cannot live in today. I cannot eat the same exact food I ate yesterday. That exact piece I chewed, swallowed, that can't do that twice. Not in the way that is not. In, well, we ain't gonna go there. <laughs> See right? It's time to move on, beloved. It's time to face reality, beloved. There will be those that will return to your life. Those that you've moved on from, ended negatively with, and, neg and negativity with. Those that were in the tower as it burned. Family and friends, a soulmate, siblings, children that you birthed. We're a vessel for souls to return. Every soul that returns through us is not truly part of us. We're just a vessel they need to return in through. So you may find that your children, that true births, hate you, disrespect you, curse you. Do not support you. Do not. I don't know their life. I don't know the energy. My children are a blessing. But my as within is my as without. They are what they are because I'm molded, and given my energy and positivity and love. But sometimes, no matter how hard you try, no matter what you put out, it's just meant to be. And it's hard. And it's painful. And your ego and pride will want to fight. And stand up. And guard you and protect you. And build that wall. But. That will be destroyed. It's easily destroyed. It's destructive in nature. It's weak. The foundation is on shaky ground. Why? Because those are not characteristics of Mother, Father, God. They cannot be from strong, from strength. They cannot be absolutes, allowed to stand.
If you have suffered a physical death, a loss of a loved one, has ascended from this world into the next, my condolences go with you, beloved. If you're finding a hard time getting over that and you need to reach out and seek help, my information is below. I am a certified death doula, a soul midwife. I view death differently than most. I celebrate it. I honor it. I teach others to connect, to release, to finally receive the forgiveness, or to give, to heal. But you're stronger than you know and beautifully made. And we forgive because we are forgiving. That's just what it is and what is expected. We like to push, and I say we, I use this term loosely, whether I'm included or not, we're going to keep it equally fair to all and not in judgment. So I say we because I am included in the human experience. Yes? We tend to call God, call on Jesus, Jehovah, Allah, whoever you choose to name your higher power, your source, your connection, your creator. That lives within and without. For those who, you know. If you know, you know. When things are, when we are our lowest and we cannot move on and we just don't understand and we need all the questions, we'll run and call to God and drop on our knees. But where were we before? The tower hit. The lightning hit. The tower came crumbling down. Before the death occurred, where were we? Was God in that equation? It has occurred. It is a test of faith. That is the assignment. It is a test of faith. You can forgive. Truly forgive. And move on. You don't need to explain why you cannot stay connected. That is an absolute decision. It is one that is blessed when done with good intentions for all. Maybe it's better for you both or you all if you don't. You can't get on the same page at the same time, so... It's time for you to write a new book alone. Include new people, new places, new experiences. That's fine. But if this is meant to be resolved with reunification, the assignment is to transmute the energy into positivity in the interests of all included. To be an example of what True righteous awakening life looks like a true God, a true goddess looks like by being an example, by forgiving, by speaking, by listening, by not judging, by understanding, offering kindness, caring support. You choose which is best for all, not just you. If you haven't completed your healing cycle and you know you're still easily triggered and you don't want to show up as that person, then by all means move on. That is real peaceful intentions and that is also blessed. And divine timing will take its necessary course. And who knows what will be in the end. But I know peace 
Shabib. What is this? What is needed? What is aspired for? That you should be. But choose wisely. Go into your meditation mode. Talk to your spirit guides and your ancestors if you need clarity. If you're still living in fear and still stuck in grief, still blaming, shaming, self victimization, or why me? Forgetting that you were also included along, whether it's because you chose to stay silent, and that is also a choice. And went without. That was a choice. But whatever you do, let it be done from love. A place of love, a place of peace. Focus on inner peace. Focus on healing. Focus on resting. Focus on living. Breathing. Loving. Focus on finding joy and happiness. Life is too short and the world is too large for you to worry about it only existing in one place with one person. Doing the same thing over and over and over again, trying to get it right. Get off the roller coaster. Get off the wheel. You're sitting on the wheel waiting for a turn in your favor when you should be doing other things and allowing divine timing to control it. Your number will come up. You will be called. You will receive all what you've earned and deserve. No less. No more. If you enjoyed the reading, please hit the like button and support your girl, support the channel. I'm available for one on one. Check out my Oracle Tarot decks I've created. Cash that PayPal, no donation too small. Amazon wish list, send me a gift with a beautiful message if you'd like. Live, love, and learn. And never stop. So on all the above. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. The sun's coming out, the clouds are clearing. <laughs> and I'm beginning to glow and get back to my strength. And I've been, spread been put me through, y'all, testing my resolve. I am a high priestess, born for this life, for this purpose, gifted with many spiritual abilities. I have yet manifested or brought to this channel. Work in progress. I strive for peace and equality and fairness for all. As within, so well, as above, so below. You call it, you decide. Let it flow. And until we meet again on this channel, in this place, I say, <sighs> get yours, beloved. Take long. Let me let you go. <laughs> I say. <laughs>